Hi everyone, once again welcome to the channel. Today in this video we are solving a very famous problem, find peak element. This problem is almost got asked in all the top giant companies and in last 6 months this problem got asked itself 17 times in Litco as per the Litco tagging. So this is very important. A peak element is an element that is strictly greater than its neighbor. Given an integer array nums, find a peak element and returns its index. If the array contains multiple peak elements, return the index to any of the peaks. You may imagine that the nums at the minus one index is infinity minus negative infinity as well as nums at the right side of our index. So this is given as a negative infinity. So in the first example, as I can see, we have this four element one, two, three, then one. So if we go, we can see that 3 is the peak element because on the 3, we can see the left side is smaller and the right side is also smaller. So this is the peak on that. So the index of 3 is 2, we need to return the 2 as our answer. Similarly, for second example, let's understand this over here more picture really. So this is the given array. Let's try to represent in a some kind of graph. Let's me put this point. So let's say this axis on the uh, 0 and 1 is over here somewhere, 2 is somewhere over here and then we are getting 1 again back and then 3 is let's say put it uh, somewhere on here, 5 is more upper than so 6 is let's say somewhere here and 4 is in between 5 and 4 so like this if we can see. So we can try to put a uh, graph like connect this all the dots so 1, 3, 5 then 6 and after that 4 is over here. So as we can see by the picture itself, the, this is the peak element, one is this, another peak element is this. So we can return any element index, so for 2 the index is 1 or for 6 the index is 5 as in array index is 0 base. So we can return, so let's see what is the answer here, this is a 5 is written but we can return like it is also mentioned over here. So how to solve this kind of problem? So one of the straightforward you should have a mindset like you need to just try to find out the solution. Don't worry about the time complexity in the first solution. You have to just try it and find out which solution. So as we can assume that like this negative infinity on the left boundary and the right boundary is the also the negative entry, then there must be some element in this array is the peak element. So how to find that element? So what we can do, we will start comparing two adjacent element at a time. So we will compare one and two. So which is let's say if we are running uh, this for loop i, then we compare i and i plus one element. And here the condition as we know the left side of i. So for this i we will try whether it is a peak element or not. We know the left side there is a minus infinity sitting on it. So what we need to do here, we need to compare if nums of i, so we will see if we will check if nums of i, nums of i is greater than the nums of i plus 1. If we found that, which means we found the peak element and the i is the answer for that, we need to return the index itself. So this is the answer itself. So here we will check is 1 greater than 2? No. Then 2 is greater than next one? Yes, it is. So we can return 1 over here. So that is the one approach to solve this problem. But in this approach, like for the worst case data, let's say if the data is given like 1, 2, 3 and 4, let's say it, only 4 element. In that case, we will not find this and also as we are using i plus 1, so we need to run the loop only i less than n minus 1. So the last element will not cover over here. Once you reach in the end, if the answer is not written, you will just return the index of this element which is. Uh, length of our nums dot length minus 1, the index of the last element basically. So this is the answer. As you can see here, the 3 is less than this guy, but the right side as we already given in problem is negative infinity which is smaller than 4. So hence we can return it. So you can pause the video and try to code this yourself. It is very straightforward, not much complex. So here is the code I have already written for that what I explained here. This is just simple iterate over the numbers till the n minus 1 and compare the two adjacent element if nums of i is greater than nums of i plus 1 return i as otherwise greater. But as you can see in this problem it is asking like solving this in o of n time which is very obvious but can you do it in o of log of n. 
So let's try to think how we can solve this log of n. So whenever we need to optimize the linear solution in logarithmic solution, then there must be a some hit in your mind. Like we need to find out and try it and somehow apply the binary search so that only we can get the time complexity log of n. But as we study like in binary search, we most of the time encounter and where the data is sorted in some form and then we try to apply the binary search. But here the data is not sorted at all. But how to use the binary search? So first of all, let's say just use the binary search principle. So we will have low or left or the right or the uh, high num index starting from like this is zero index and this one is the n minus one. Now we will be on the somewhere find out the mid, mid element. Now what we need to do at mid, so we will compare mid element with the mid plus one, with the mid plus one. Why we need to compare this mid plus one? Then only we will try to uh, like take the assumption which half we need to move. So let's see in this graph itself if somehow the mid is this element and if I compare uh, three with the five, as you can see, this is an increasing curve. This is an increasing curve. So the left side, this three can't be the peak element. So five or there might be a, a more element on the right side. As we already identified that like three is less than five. So we are sure that there is a minus infinity at the right rightmost index. So we can see that this 5 can be a peak element or there may be any element on the right of 5 because 5 is on the uh, uh, increasing side of this slope. So we update our left pointer to mid plus 1 here mid plus 1 so left to this and we will keep trying this again same if it is possible. So we will again get the mid of 6 is the mid now we compare is 6 with the next element which is uh, mid plus 1. So 6 is greater than 4, 6 is greater than 4 yes and the previously we are coming the negative infinity is also there if it is nothing. So yes we can say that this 6 is the our uh, peak element but how we can conclude we can't conclude here we, we just update our right pointer a over here right to mid as we so if we have this uh, mid over on this slope and we are comparing mid plus one mid on lies on the downward slope then we will reduce the right half we will discard the right half as we know like this uh, mid element has a element right side which is lesser than its and there must be a left side some elements if nothing then minus infinity is still there so we can this element can be the mid. So that is how we will apply the binary search. If you got the idea, you can pause the video and try to implement code. So let's quickly implement the binary search code. So for that, let's just discard this code and define the variable. I'm so defining shorthand. L is for a start from zero. R is start from um, start length minus one. And then we will apply a binary search. So this is a very famous template like binary search second template. If you are not much aware of binary search how it is work and the how what are the types of template you can check out my binary search video i will post the video link on it so let's find out the mid first so it is always good to take care of the overflow part like that way and once it done we will compare the elements if nums of mid we will compare uh, nums of mid with the nums of mid if nums of mid is greater than nums of mid plus one if it is the case then we need to look in discard the right half so in that case this will become r will become mid otherwise we will update our left so left will become mid plus one so that's it and in the end the left will be the storing the index of our answer we will return the left so l for that so let's try to quickly compile this first and second test case given in the problem and also let's put one or two more custom test cases where we have like one element one one element and uh, two or i guess this is not the valid test case maybe i'm not sure but let's say two and one so let's try these all the test cases and if we get the correct answer then we are sure enough it will be passed 
seems like we are getting the expected answer now we can submit the code and see how it is behave and it got accepted so this is the binary search solution as you can see the straightforward every time we are discarding half of the array element so hence the time complexity of this solution will be o of log of n and the space complexity as you can see we are just using the variables which is o of 1 so try it out and there are many other binary search important problem and facebook is like binary search is very favorite topic so you must know different templates of binary search and different problems on that so just try it and let me know how do you like this and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.